No, no, let's play tennis ball. Why do I have to do it? Yes, I do. Let's do it. Hi. Today on Sesame Street, we will see the letter. Oh, 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 that's the first letter in the word uh, w -w water and wash. Oh, see, see, wa, wa, it's a double, double. Right, 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 double you. Double you. Double you. Very good. And we will also see the letter. Oh, I know, I know, Selena. It's the first letter in the word lion. Yeah, yeah, that's right. L, 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 L. L, it's letter L. 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 Excellent. <laughs> and we will also see the number. Oh, yes, ten. Oh, right, right, ten. <laughs> ten. Excellent, Alice. Thank you. And we will also learn the word. Oh. Huh? Um, uh, 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 banana. Bang. Banana? Banana? Uh -huh. Banana. Oh, very good, Alice. Yes. Excellent. Yes. And we're also going to learn about the beginning, middle, and end. Mm. With the help of our friend, Slimy the Worm. Oh, yeah. Yay! Yay. 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 Beginning, <laughs> middle, banana. No, no, Alice. What? Beginning, middle, and end. Right. Beginning, middle. Banana, 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 <laughs> banana. <laughs> about beginning, middle, and end. Beginning, middle, and end. <laughs> Good. Why don't we watch Slimy, who's over there. Can you see him? Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, Slimy. Slimy is going to copy a letter from his alphabet book. He's going to write the letter W. Uh. Hey, W for worm. Uh -oh. W. Worm. Right. Okay, Slimy, you're on. Now, Slimy is just at the beginning of writing the letter W. Beginning. Yes, just at the beginning. And now, Slimy is in the middle of writing the letter W. Middle. He's in the middle. That's yeah, right. Middle. He's in the middle. And now, he's going to move on to the end of writing the letter W. He did the beginning, uh -huh. then the middle, and now he's going to do the... Banana! Banana! Uh, no, Wallace, the end, not banana. Oh. And that's the end. The end. That's right, Rosita. <laughs> what? What? The end? Mm -hmm. I missed watching Slimy do the end. Oh, I was looking at Alice. Yeah, and I saw it, Telly, and it was all forgettable. Ah, phooey. <laughs> Banana. Oh, I'm sorry, Telly. Mm. Well, it's okay. I'll think of something else to show you beginning, middle, and end.
This is the very beginning. This thing's a once upon a time. Somebody's starting something. These are the opening lines. Seymour is waking up. He's wearing striped pajamas. He's jumping out of bed all smiles he yells. This is the beginning. Yes, every story has a beginning, middle, and an end. And when it's over, we can go back and tell it all again. Yes, every story has a beginning end. This is the middle of the story. Here's where we get to the meat. Somebody's up to something. We're on the edge of our seats. Seymour looks out the window. He waves to Mrs. Mazzini. He catches a ride on a friendly pterodactyl. He shouts, this must be the middle. Yes, every story has a beginning, middle, and an end. And when it's over, we can go back and tell it all again. Yes, every story has a beginning, middle, and end. This is the end of the story. This is the how it all worked out. Somebody winds up somewhere. This is the what it's all about. Seymour flies way back in time. He goes into business with some cavemen. He runs a very successful frozen yogurt stand. He says it's a happy ending. Yes, every story has a beginning, middle, and an end. And when it's over, we can go back and tell it all again. Yes, every story has a beginning, middle, and end. Oh, hello there. It is I, the Count. Yes, they call me the Count because I love to count things. Today I am going to tell you a story about when I was a very young little Count. Yes, I am going to tell you about my first day at school. The first day that I went to school, yes, I remember clearly. My mommy made me leave at home. The spiders I loved dearly. I felt a little sad as I walked through the classroom door. But then I saw more children than I'd ever seen before. Ha <laughs> ha, I cried, my new school will be fun. For I can count all of the children one by one. Yes, I'll count Gregory and Sue. That makes number one and two. I'll count Boris and Igor. That makes number three and four. Morris, Jane, and Eloise. Five, six, seven, if you please. Theodore and Adeline make number eight and number nine. And then I will count Ben. For Ben is number ten. Yes, there's Gregory, Sue, and Boris. Igor, Eloise, and Morris. Theodore, Jane, and Adeline. And Ben. And that makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The teacher taught the alphabet. We had to learn each letter. The alphabet was not much fun, but then things got much better. The teacher said, my children dear, it's time for numbers now. Can anybody count to ten? A small voice yelled, and how? 
Just watch, I cry before this class is done. I will count all of the children one by one. Yes, I'll count Gregory and Sue. That makes number one and two. I'll count Boris and Igor. That makes number three and four. Morris, Jane, and Eloise. Five, six, seven, if you please. Theodore and Adeline make number eight and number nine. And then I will count Ben. For Ben is number ten. Yes, there's Gregory, Sue, and Boris. Igor, Eloise, and Morris. Theodore, Jane, and Adeline. And Ben. And that makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, everybody, all together now. There's Gregory, Sue, and Boris, Igor, Eloise, and Morris, Theodore, Jane, and Adeline, and Ben. And that makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, ha-ha, but those are only just some of the children in the class. Next, I must count the rest of the children. Then I must count the children in all the other classes in the school. And then I will count all the children in all the schools everywhere. Ah, let me begin. There's Ermengarde, that's 11. There's Gerhard, it's 12. Renate is 13. Steve, 14. Bella, 15. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> There you are. Mrs. Tweedlebum's ten terriers need to be taken for an outing. There you go. Ten. Ten. Ten tiny terriers. Ten. Ten terrible terriers. <laughs> ten tiny terriers. One, uh, two, um, six, uh, no, 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 no. Ten terriers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten terrific terriers. Now, let's try to show beginning, middle, and end one more time. Oh, good. I liked it the last time. <laughs> yeah, I liked the beginning and the middle, but I didn't see the end. Oh, well, this time, Telly, you will. Okay, well, what if Alice says banana just when it's time to see the end? Then I'll say, don't say banana, Alice. It'll miss the end. <laughs> banana! <laughs> Alice! Oh. Well, this time, try not to pay too much attention to Alice, okay? Just watch me, and you'll see the beginning, middle, and the end. Yeah, that's right, Tally. That's what I do. I just keep watching Selena. Okay, I'll try it. <clears throat> Banana. I'm not paying attention to her. <laughs> Banana. <laughs> I'm just watching you, Selena. Okay, good, Telly. Now, I'm going to walk from here over to that tree. And while I'm walking, I'll tell you when I'm at the beginning of my walk, in the middle of my walk, and at the end of my walk. Okay? Well, good, Selena. That way we will see beginning... Middle and uh, banana. And end, end, beginning, middle, and banana. <laughs> banana. Yeah, <laughs> it's no use. I can't pay attention to you, Selena. Alice, if you're gonna keep saying banana, then go away and say it someplace else. Oh, <laughs> banana, 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 banana. <laughs> okay, all right. Now I can concentrate. Go on, Selena. Do the beginning of your walk. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, Selena. You are not walking to that tree. Uh. No, I'm not. I think there's a better way of showing beginning, middle, and end. How? Banana. Oh. Huh? Banana? Oh, no. Now Selena is saying it. Oh. 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 Tell me, my friend, did you ever see Bananas growing on banana tree? Well, you may see seven or you may see three But you'll never see one alone Just count one banana, two banana One for me and one for you, banana Count three or four or even more banana 
Well, Miss Banana, she's a pretty sight. She wears a yellow dress in the bright sunlight. She got her friends and neighbors to the left and right. Cause Banana can't grow alone. Just count one banana, two banana, one for me and one for you. Banana count three or four or even more banana. I think banana is like you and me Needing friends and neighbors and a family Let us take a lesson from banana tree Cause banana can't grow alone Everybody sing One banana, two banana One for me and one for you Banana count three or four Or even more banana Cause banana can't grow alone Very softly now One banana There is something happening inside my mouth. Just west of my tongue and a little bit south. It's not too earth shaking. It won't raise the roof. But to me, it's incredible, mind boggling proof that I'm in the big time. And this is no spoof. So I'll whisper my secret and tell you the truth. I am finally getting. I'm not just pretending. I'm actually getting. There's no use in fretting. My very first good and loose wiggly tooth. Okay, now, everybody, I want you all to put your hands together and raise your voices along with the singing dentist. That's us. Right. Yeah, yeah, as we sing a song in praise of something that keeps our teeth clean. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and bright. Tell them, yeah. yeah. And cavity-free. Let's sing about tooth pain. Oh, yeah. Yeah, proper dental hygiene means everything to me. So come on, everybody, turn out dentist jamboree. Strong teeth are so important, we're thankful every day. We have to give them toothpaste to guard against decay. So somebody say, somebody say toothpaste. Yeah, say toothpaste. go to the Harlem Junior Tennis Program to learn to play tennis. I like playing tennis because it's fun. The most fun is playing the games, hitting the balls, and winning the games. It's very athletic, and I always wanted to play it since I was three years old. I like to watch the older kids play because 
get a few more experience on where to hit the ball and how. All great tennis players have to do exercises. It's not just hitting forehands and backhands. You have to be in good shape. All right? One, two, three, go! Come on, you guys, push it! Come on, back deep, faster, faster! Karen's our coach. She learned to play tennis here, and now she teaches us. Now watch the ball. Are you watching the ball? Let it bounce and then lift it up over the net. Okay, here we go. Fantastic, great shot. Don't just hit with no purpose. Make sure you're keeping every ball in play. You've got to concentrate. It's a big part of the game. Nice and deep into that corner. Find the ball in front. That's it, Jasmine, beautiful backhand. That's better, try again, try again. Now, you want to make sure that you stay with it. You make contact with the ball, and you carry it out forward as far as possible. Here we go. Push. That's better. That was the backhand. Excellent. That's it. Now it's time to play a game. And my favorite tennis partner is my brother. You always want somebody to play with. When you have a sister or a brother, there's always someone there that you can play with. If I didn't have a brother, I couldn't play tennis with anyone because my mom and dad are busy. There you go, there you go, Chris. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. We won, but it doesn't matter. It's fun just playing. And now we can use Alice's idea to show beginning, middle, and end. Alice had an idea? Well, yes, she's had the right idea all along. <laughs> banana? Banana. Uh, how can you use a banana to show beginning, middle, and end? Yeah. By eating it. Watch. The beginning of eating a banana. Oh, wow. The first bite. Beginning. Right. Uh -huh. She just started eating it, so that's the beginning. Yeah. The middle. It's not the beginning anymore, but she hasn't finished eating it yet, either. Yeah, so it's the middle of eating the banana. And the end. Oh, now the banana is all gone. No more. The end. Mm -hmm. So what did you think of it? Wow, that was a very good way to show beginning, middle, and end. Alice, what a good idea you had. Yeah, it sure was a good idea, Alice. Thank you. Sí, gracias. Uh, Alice, did you have something you wanted to say? Banana. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Sure that you're a banana, the bodacious sweet banana. If you're gonna peel and eat them, why not take the time to meet them? When they're yellow, they're delicious. Green too hard and brown too squishes. Eat them plain or slice or mash them. Cook them up or die. Banana, banana, banana. It's time to salute banana. Before they're packed into your lunches, those bananas grow in bunches, hanging from banana trees. 
trees in the warm tropical breeze. Hold a fruit candle, hold a candle to the one with its own handle. The bananas are so nice. The bananas paradise. Banana, banana. Let's salute the fruit banana. <sighs> one. Two. That should be enough. Hey, Bert, would you turn out the light now? Oh, sure, Ernie. Hmm. Boy, am I tired. Yeah, I know how you feel, Bert. <sighs> good night, Ernie. Yeah, good night, Bert. <sighs> Hey, Bert. Bert. Hey, before you go to sleep, Bert. Bert. Yeah. Hey, do you by any chance know what happened to my long red scarf? Oh, Bert. No, Ernie, I, I don't by any chance know what happened to your long red scarf. Hey, hey, hey Aaron. Hey, hmm? hey, I'm tired, you know. Why don't you just go to sleep? Let me get a little rest, huh? Okay, yeah. Okay. I, I know how you feel, Bert. It's yeah, 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 just sure. Just thinking about scarves, you know. <sighs> I don't have my long red scarf. Bert, you know what I'll have to do if I don't find my long red scarf? I'll have to wear my scratchy green one, Bert. Ooh, the one that tickles my neck. Ernie. Ooh, hmm? Ernie. What? Why do you always have to wait until it's time to go to sleep to start bothering me, huh? Why? Well, I'm, I'm sorry, Bert. I... I know how you feel, though. No, 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 Ernie. You couldn't possibly know how I feel unless, unless you were me. Oh, boy. Good night, Ernie. Well, good night, Bert. <sighs> Gee, maybe Bert's right. Maybe I couldn't possibly imagine what it's like to be Bert. But if I thought real hard, maybe I could imagine in my mind that I was my old buddy Bert. Gee, then maybe I'd know what Bert feels like. Let's see, if I think real hard. Mm. Hey, I tried so hard to imagine that I was Bert and look at that, I'm in Bert's bed. Why, I must be Bert and, and Bert must be me. Well, I'll try to get comfy and get some sleep here. Hey, Ernie. Good night, Ernie. Hey. Hey, Ernie. Hey, wait a second. Before you go to sleep, eh, let me show you something. Hey, guess what I just found? Oh, boy. I found my rubber ducky. <laughs> Hello, rubber ducky. Nice rubber ducky. Hey, hey, listen, uh, Bert. Hey, look, uh, I can't sleep with all that noise. Gee, is that the way I act? Hmm. Hey, hey, Ernie. Hey, hmm? get, guess what else I just found? What was that? I found my football. You found your football? Oof. Oh, hey, I can't sleep now with all that noise and racket. Do I really act like that? Hey, Aaron, hey, I got my long red scarf. Oh, boy, am I happy. You know, if I didn't have my long red one, I'd have to wear my frizzy green one. And you know how that tickles my neck. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh. No, I really do know how it feels to be Bert. Oh, but I don't think I like being Bert. What I'll do is I'll think real hard and be myself again. Okay. Gee, I'm myself again, and Bert is himself. Oh, after being in Bert's place, I really know how he feels. Hey, Bert! Bert! You really made me know how you feel, Bert. Huh? Huh? What? I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. Hey, Bert, listen. I'll never disturb your sleep again. It was an unusual case, that's for sure. A snake had come into my office because he had lost his end. He had a beginning, that's his head. And he had a middle, all knotted up. But his end was nowhere to be found. I took out my magnifying glass and it became clear what we had to do. Follow his coils. They were the only clue we had. The beginning of the snake followed me. His middle trailed behind. The snake's coils lay on the wrong side of the tracks in a rough part of town.
But that didn't scare me. Through a dingy alley and down a dark staircase they lay. Then straight into a nightclub. I was prepared for the worst. Inside, the band whooped it up while the coils danced with the crowd. I looked back at the snake's beginning. This looks like the place. His middle bounced up and down, excited. The coils led to the bandstand, and there, playing the drums, was the snake's end. Now we knew where the snake's beginning was, also his middle, and finally his end. They were together again at last, and that is the case's end. It's not so hard to say your name, but I know that the fact is, to learn to write it down can take a lot of practice. So write your name. Leah. Write your name. Andrew. In letters big or small, write your name. Julia. Write your name. Shauna. Write your name. Tim. Try it out, you'll have a ball. Write your name. Patrick. I said write your name. Alvaro. Write your name. Laura. It may be short or long. Write your name. Alex. Write your name. Maddie. Write your name. Aaron. As I sing this special song, write your name. Tommy. Yes, do your name be Jan or Sue or Juan or Lou. The fact is, it's going to take, I'm telling you, an awful lot of practice. So write your name. Nora. Write your name. Karina. In letters short or tall, write your name. Diana. Write your name. Diana. Write your name. Claudia. Don't give up till you write it all. Write your name. Charlie. Write your name. Kaya. Write your name. Carrie. In yellow, red, or blue, write your name. Reed. Write your name. Abby. Write your name. Chris. Cause no one else can write like you. Now this song is almost through. There's only one thing left to do. That's write your name. Write your name. Hello, Nia. W. Wash. W. W. The letter W. W. Banana to you, too. Banana. <laughs> you know, when I was little, I loved learning silly-sounding words, and I would say them over and over and over again, just like Alice yeah, does. Yeah, me too. One of my favorite words was snorkel. I loved saying that. Snorkel? snorkel? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I get a kick out of? Tweezers. <laughs> oh, don't you know any silly-sounding words that are fun to say and hear? That feel absurd coming out of your mouth and tickle going in your ear. Words like snorkel and tweezers and flapjack and snoot. Not to mention hup -hup and mugwhoop and tweak. Tweak! <laughs> snorkel, 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 snorkel. Flapjack, flapjack. Flapjack, flapjack, flapjack. Mugwump. Mugwump, mugwump, mugwump. <laughs> mugwump, 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 mugwump. Mugwump, flapjack, 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 flapjack. Snorkel, 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 snorkel. Snorkel, very good, Alice. <laughs> I know another silly sounding word. Aardvark. How about bassoon? <laughs> and fuss budget. <laughs> Sassafras! And smudge. Hey, how about Liberty Gibbet? No! Yes. Liberty Gibbet? Is there really such a what? Certainly! <laughs> oh, how I love the liberty of saying words like 
Fliberty, 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 Fliberty,
Oh, welcome to Monsterpiece Theater. Me, Alistair Cookie. And tonight, me bring you classic film about dirty side of city and how to make it squeaky clean with non-abrasive cleanser. Tonight, me proud to present Monsters with Dirty Faces. Oh, uh, you know just sets. Movie in black and white. Mm. Now you realize, Officer Grover, your job as a police officer is to help clean up the city. Yes, sir. Where do I start, sir? You start with those lads over there. You got to get them to clean up their faces. Well, that is easy. No, it isn't. Why not? Because they all follow Rocky. And who is Rocky? Excuse me? <laughs> That's Rocky. Mm. Those lads do whatever Rocky does. So if Rocky doesn't wash his face, neither do they. Neither do they? Neither do they. You know my commandant, sir. I, I think I have some paperwork back at the office. No. To... Now get to work. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, no problem. I, I laugh in the face of danger. Ha 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 Hey, did he just ask Rocky to wash his face? What is he kidding? Rocky loves to have a dirty <laughs> face. Yeah. Officer, nobody gets Rocky to wash his face. Yeah, huh? go on, Rocky. Tell the nice officer how yeah. you feel about washing your face. Yeah. Okay, I think I will. <laughs> Maybe, maybe this is maybe this is a bad time, Rocky. Why don't I come back? Maybe sometime next spring, huh? The hell, <laughs> officer. <laughs> I would very much like to wash my face. Hello? Hello? What? I would very much love to wash my face, but I just never learned how. Could you help me? Well, of course I can, Rocky. Here, here. All you need is a little soap and, and, and a washcloth. Go get some water now. Okay. Yes, go ahead. Uh, this here? That's it, then wash your face. So, uh, Slosh them in there. Oh, no, you're not gonna. Oh, oh, don't do it, Rocky. Uh -huh. That's it now. Wash your face with the soap and water. There. Now, how did that feel? I feel as clean and fresh as a spring day. Hey, Rocky washed his face. Hey, hey. Rock, me next, Rocky. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Give me the wash. 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 Oh, ha, ha, ha. And so all little monsters washed faces and felt like whole month of May. Ha, ha. Uh, excuse me, Cookie. You got a spot of cookie on your face there. Oh. I will clean it for you. Oh, thank, thank you, Rocky. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, scrub you up. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. How about what? to make an L. Me!
like L because I can make lots of important words. Life. Love. <gasps> Lizard. Whee! What a leap. And oh. What a lump. Hey, everybody, say hi to my friend Celia Cruz. Hi. Hola. Hola. Uh, Celia wanted to sing a song and play a game, see? Uh, but what she wants us to do is to sing after her, all right? Oh, boy. All right? Yeah, good to meet you. Yeah. And this is what she wants us to repeat. Le, ro, le. Say it after me. Le, 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 le. le. le ro, la. Le, le, ro, la. All right. And here's the other part of the song. Kimbara, okay. kumbara. Kimbara, kumbara. Kumba, kimbamba. Kumba, kimbamba. Kumba, kimba, ¿Qué le parece? Muy bien, bien, muy bien, está perfecto. Uh, well, do you know the game Simon Says? Yeah. 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 This is called yeah. Celia Say. You have to say what I say. Ready? Ready. I was working the day shift out of robbery when the call came in. My partner Ben got it. My name's Sergeant Thursday. I'm a policeman. Uh, witnesses say the guy we're after looks like this. Okay, he shouldn't be too hard to pick up with that line down here. This line up again, then down again, then up again. Name's W. Okay, let's go. Hold it, Ben. Look over there. Let's check him out. Nope, this guy has one line with some bumps. The guy we want has those four up and down lines. Mm. Hold it, Ben. Look there. That's him. Let's check it out. He's got one line down. And one line up. And one line down. And one line up. 
That's the W, all right. Okay, I'll handle this. Excuse me, but are you the letter W? Uh, what's it to you? We're police officers. We'd like a word with you. Oh, 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 uh, you see, uh, there must be some mistake, officers. I'm an M, see? Hmm, hmm, but uh, if I see a W anywhere, I'll tell him you're looking for him, huh? So long. Hmm. So long. Uh, seems like a nice guy, that M. Yeah. Let's see that sketch again. Here it is. Okay, the letter W. One line down, one line up, one line down. Hey, hey. You. Hey, uh, you. Come back here. Uh, uh, right, come back. Wait a second. Hold on there. Uh, We'd like to talk to you come again. Come back here. You, butter. Uh, Somebody stop that butter. Hold that butter. This is Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina! Her favorite letter is W. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wilhelmina! W. W for water and whistle and worm. Wilhelmina likes to whistle and wiggle while she wades in the water. W for Wilhelmina. And walk. And wheel. And whisker. And wide. And wink. Wilhelmina can wiggle and walk. Whistle and wink. W for Wilhelmina. Hello, this is your old pal Grover. And I am going to recite a poem that I wrote all by my furry self called Poem to a Bubble. I hope you notice all the cute rhymes. <clears throat> uh, okay, please send in the bubble. Wait, oh, wait, 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 not so fast. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, send in another bubble and please blow it higher this time so it will last through my whole poem. <laughs> oh, that's better. <clears throat> ah, poem to a bubble. Little bubble, round and fair, floating slowly through the air. Oh, no. Hmm. Um, uh, uh, I'm very sorry we're having these bubble troubles. Please stand by. Send in another bubble, please, and make it a slow one this time. Oh, that's nice. Okay, um, poem to a bubble. Little bubble, round and fair, floating slowly through the air. Uh, uh, the wind blows you hither, yon, then you pop. You are all gone. You last but a tiny while, but while you do, you make me smile. I did it! I did it! Oh. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Oh, thank you! <laughs> thank you! Trash, 
Some place where dropping litter is wrong. It's good for me and you to put our trash into a basket or a can of. of the Children's Television Workshop. Funding for this program is provided in part by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by public television stations and their contributors.